everyone, my name is Isaiah Washington. I am in my garage right now. We're gonna make some knives today. Ugh. Let's cover it up best as we can. Alright, so we're inside the garage now. And I took the the file out of the um, the coal, and it uh, it burned on this like um, residue of um, burnt coal that's like chipped, coated on it. I'm going to call that good for heat treating. I didn't thin the edge out too much, but I established the, the lines, um, the grind lines, which I'm going to clean up. And I, I don't think I'm gonna even um, in post when I'm when this is all ground out. I don't think I'm going to. I, I don't think you'll even be able to tell that there is an edge bevel. It's just gonna look like the whole thing's beveled. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean up this uh, area right here. Um, you can see it's a little. It's rough from forging, so I'm gonna clean it out. I have this. I have the smaller 30 by one inch um, uh, belt grinder. I just got. I got from Harbor Freight a long time ago when I started making knives. I'm not. Makes it look a little nicer. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna put a handle on this or not. Um, I think I'm gonna do a little researching on Google before I decide. Take a look at some pictures of straight razors. Uh, but I think uh, I'm gonna decide, and then uh, we're gonna heat treat this thing. And you know what? I think. A straight razor with a hamon line would look pretty awesome, so that's what we're gonna do.
It's going to be the pivot hole for the handle. I'm not sure if that's too far up or not, but I guess we'll find out. I don't think it should be a big deal. Alright, so I'm back over here, and I'm going to be putting this fire block sealant on um, on the blade to give it a hamon line. And what a hamon line is, it's if you want to Google um, uh, hamon or katana, this is the differential hardening line. Um, so we're going to we're going to take this. This is basically like modern clay, and um, we're going to take this. We're going to coat it on the spine on either side, so that when we go to heat treat it, the edge will cool substantially faster than the insulated spine. Some more. That's better. Now I'm certainly no pro at hormone lines. I've done a few. Oops, sorry, that's off camera. I've done a few see what I'm doing here. So I'm just sort of placing them randomly. You don't want to get the edge. Um, I think that's about as... I'm not even really trying to be even with it. I'm just going to make it look random. So however it turns out, it's going to turn out. I think it'll be cool though, either way. Clay, uh, all the moisture in the clay burn out, uh, so we can really get this thing heat treated. So we're gonna heat it real slow when we heat treat it to make sure that the whole the whole blade gets heated evenly. So this is the oil we're gonna quench it in. This is um, just used motor oil. It's pretty nasty stuff, but it works. Alright, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna get ready to quench it now. Alright, this is where it gets dangerous. Alright, let's do this. There's a hardened blade. Alright, so I'm going to break the clay off the side now. And I'm going to stick it in the snow. I stuck it in the snow off camera. Um, just to make sure that it... That the... Um, that the spine wasn't so hot that it would... That it would temper the edge. Well, this is looking cool. Well, it's actually looking pretty gross, but that's alright. Alright, so I have a fresh belt on the grinder, and this is what the razor looks like after it's all been cooled off. So, we're going to put uh, an edge on it now. Looking at it, trying to make sure I keep it straight. So I've ground down the edge, uh, so it's substantially thinner now. The bevel goes pretty much all the way up to the top on both sides. The lines are going vertical now. The, the 
the grip marks are going vertical or horizontal I mean um, but this one it's vertical on this side so I'm gonna make it horizontal on this side and then we're gonna bring it through the grits alright so I took it through I only did it up to 220 and there's a couple spots where it looks messed up but everything's gonna come out in uh, hand polishing so this is what we got so far um, I'm thinking I'm gonna give it a, uh, an oak handle I have decided I, I definitely want to give it a handle um, I think it's gonna be pretty cool the only regret I have is before heat treating I wanted I, I always had the idea of twisting doing a twist here um, but I didn't even think about it so this is what we got so far it looks it looks honestly it looks a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna come out Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see part one, you can click the annotation on the left. Or if you'd like to see the third and par final part three, you can click the annotation on the right. Please like and comment and subscribe if you'd like to see videos similar to this one. See ya.